Almost set for puck drop here this afternoon, so we'll talk about the starting goaltenders for Carlton Place Canadians. It'll be number one, Aiden Fidema, the native of Bowmanville, Ontario, making it. 10th start of the season. He's got six wins, two losses, one shootout loss. Goals against average of 3.14. Save percentage of 8.95. At the other end, it'll be Benoit Forger for Rockland. The native of Lange Gardien, Quebec, just across the river on the Quebec side. He's got 11 wins, three losses, one overtime loss, 3.24 goals against average, and an 8.84 save percentage. Guillaume Labre will be taking the draw and we'll be talking about the Young Stars game coming up here Tuesday night. First off, the uh, officials for tonight today's game. Brendan Bijou, Cale Robinson are the referees. The linesmen, Maxim Frost and Simon Lavictoire. Earlier this week, we'll talk about that a little later. Laurent comes in, Hall. He couldn't get the shot away is on CKDJ Radio and CCHL Radio. Those rosters were announced earlier this week. We'll talk about that a little later. Laurent comes in. Hall. He couldn't get the shot away. And do we have a penalty on the play? A slashing call coming against Carlton Place. So Rockland will get the first power play as Bill Goujon goes to... The penalty box for slashing at the 219 mark. On the power play, Rockland operating at a 28.5% clip. 34 goals in 119 attempts. Tremblay's shot was deflected off his stick. Charon picks up the loose puck. Looking in front and a nice cross crease pass. It's still loose. To the left of goaltender Fedena. And finally, it's on the back of the net. Endefo avoids a check. Jeremy Endefo has it taken off his stick. Solid hit between the two number 12s. And they both go flying. Brady gets right back up. Same thing for Kate and Ryan, but back behind the. Rockland goal. Beda. Dump pass. Drez now. Over to Chardon. That was in his skate. Drez gets it back. Drez takes it to scores! Aiden Drez with the drag shot and lets it go low to the Stick side giving Rockland uh, the power play goal. Drez with a beautiful low shot. Not a whole lot of chance for Fredema to make that save. And that one is coming at the 1928 mark. Drez is, uh, has made quite an impression. So far in his ninth game as uh, a Rockland National, that is his eighth goal on the power play, giving Rockland the 1-0 lead. A 2003 born player. He's still out there with Lob, gets the puck, Mum does. He lets it go. on, And the rebound gets behind Fidema, but he's able to reach back and cover it up. That one was going in. And Fidema reached behind him to cover up the puck before it crossed the red line. Keeping it a 1-0 game. Long shot, blockered away. Drez in the corner. Leonard there, right on net. Once again, it's on goal. And Drez now gets some uh, company as he gets checked hard by... Tristan Boudreau, net comes off, and we'll see. Looks like there's going to be penalties here, offsetting minors. 
Drez and Boudreau having words as they go to the penalty box. So coincidental minors for roughing. Boudreau for Carlton Place. And Drez for Rockland. Away. And Carlton Place will pick up the loose puck. Canadians come to center. Tristan Boudreau. Now stolen by Mom. A quick shot and stick to side. Mom has had a few good looks in his first Junior A game. Etchart falls down, but Stuthers is right there. And he Etchart's going to get a interference call as the uh, rookie... Messilan Etchart fell down on his back check and then uh, caused some interference against the Carlton Place players. So Canadians will go on their first power play of the game at the 10-49 mark. Canadians on the power play are 18.3%. 31 Goals in 169 attempts. That shot went through traffic. Shots are 14 apiece at the moment. Penalty, I do believe, coming up to the newcomer, Mum. As he uh, checked the Carlton Place player, he gets an interference call inside Rockland territory. So Mum goes to the box. Fair, fair, goes the other way. He gets checked. Stuthers couldn't clear the zone. Now it comes to the blue line for Cooper. Five seconds remaining in the man advantage. Carlton Place, one last opportunity. Close in, rebound on the other side. As Forges looking for it, comes back to the blue line. Cooper lets it go from there through traffic. Deflected wide. So here comes Matiz Bedard across the line. He lets it go. Nice pad save by Fedema. From the blue line again. Blocker to side. They'll try it again from the blue line. Laurent. Shot through traffic. Doesn't get through. Canadians can't clear the zone. Here come the Nats. And they get a good shot on net. Drez does. Fedema is up to the task and makes the save. To keep this one at a 1-0 game in favor of Rockland. Rockland goal. On it right away is Fur, Along with Laurent. Gets it to the high slot. And a save and stick to side by goaltender Forger. As in the zone. Xavier Laurent. He gets it to center. Hall inside Canadians territory, shot on Hall on the backhand, and a nice right pad save by Fedema. Pass to center, over for Benvy. Benvy, a quick shot. It's going to be a penalty on the play to Rockland for hooking, I do believe. Hooking call as Benvy was cutting towards the front of the net, and. The Canadians will go on the power play once again. With along the boards was uh, Blake Boudreau. Comes to the point. Couldn't get a shot away was defenseman or make that number seven Benvy. And a breakaway here for Kyle Leonard. Leonard inside all alone. Backhand scores! On the shorthand. And goaltender Aiden Fedena started to come out and then decided otherwise, went back in. And Fedena, as you may know as a goaltender, once you decide to come out, you got to go. And Fedena made the wrong call on that one. Breakaway shorthanded goal by Kyle Leonard gives Rockland a 2 0 lead. Back to the point, Cully. Cross ice. 
Now it's behind the net. Prudhomme there, kicking it forward. Gets it back to the point. And they get the first goal. It's going to be Kaderna with the puck that came right to him. Had a wide open net after it came off. Uh, Forge who made the save. Kaderna makes it a 2-1 game. With 58 seconds remaining, Kyle Kaderna scores to make it a 2-1 game with the extra attacker. The so goaltender Fidena goes back into his net. Carlton Place now going to push real hard for that equalizer. Owen Brady behind his own net circles it. They get, don't get it out. High slot area given up there. In front, Kaderna looking for the rebound. No, it didn't come. Now they send it down the ice. Is that one going to make it right into the open net? As they had pulled their goaltender once again. And I had not seen that, but Guillaume Labre backhands it 200 feet to give Rockland the 3-1 lead with 33 seconds left. I was looking at the play in the Rockland zone and hadn't seen the goaltender being pulled a second time. <laughs> so an unassisted goal, I do believe, by Guillaume Labre. Gives Rockland a 3-1 lead, and that's an offside at the Rockland blue line. So with 27.5 seconds remaining, the uh, faceoff will be outside the Nats' territory. Kaderna from Ryan and Cully. Puck comes to center for Trambley. Has it on the right side. And for Drez in front, who just deflected it wide. And four seconds remaining. This will be Rockland's 21st win of the season. They now have 46 points. And in the out-of-town scoreboard, it's now tied 4-4 in the p and Cornwall with 6.34 remaining in the third period. But what's important here is that the Rockland Nationals have uh, secured their 21st win of the season. 